Now, let's solve for x in this exponential equation. We have 5 to the x plus 5 to the x plus 1 is equal to 27 all over 25. What is the value of x? Uh, this is very simple. Follow the solution carefully. We have 5 to the x plus 5 to the x. The same thing added to itself. So how many of them are there? 1, 2. So we have 2, 5 to the x plus 1 is equal to 27 all over 25. All right? Remember, I want to solve for x. So let's take this quantity from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. So we're left with 2, 5 to the x equals to 27 all over 25. This is positive 1. We take it this way, it will become minus 1. All right, this is a fraction. We can always make this a fraction. 1 is the same as 1 all over 1. So I will carry out that subtraction with a lot of ease. LCM of 25 and 1 is 25. 25 divided by 25 is 1. 1 multiplied to 27 is 27 minus. 25 divided by 1 is 25. Multiplied to 1 is 25. Okay? So we obtain 2 all over 25. So we are saying 2 into 5 to the x is equal to 2 all over 25. Remember again, we want to solve for x. So let's remove these two. The only acceptable mathematical operation is to divide here by 2. What If we do this operation on one side, we must respect equality by doing the same thing on the other side. Remember, divided by 2 is the same as multiplied by half. Divided by 2 is the same as multiplying by half. So we can see the 2 is gone. But here we can see this cancels off. So we have 5 to the x is equal to 1 all over 25. All right, this index expression has the base 5. Can we change 25 to an index number with the base 5? 25 is the same as 5 squared. And if we apply our loss of indices, this is simply 5 to the negative 2. So we'll end up with 5 to the x is equal to 5 to the negative 2. For equality, this is equality. For it to be valid, the basis must be equal. And we see it is already equal and the powers must also be equal so the value of x is negative 2.